Hey beauties, it's Riri. If you're new here, I'm an over 40 lover of all things beauty and I love showcasing indie brands here on my channel. If that sounds like your cup of tea, please consider subscribing and give the video a thumbs up. There's also a join button right down there that you can click to become a channel member for some exclusive perks. We are diving right in. I just received my Ipsy Glam Bag, my Boxy Charm by Ipsy, and my Icon Box for the month of May. These are generously gifted from Ipsy, so thank you so much in advance. I'm gonna go into the OG, the original glam bag first. And the original Ipsy is $14 monthly. You get five travel sampler size items. It's up to $70 value, and we get to pick one of those items. And every month there is a specified theme, so I'm excited to see the bag and the theme for this month. All right. Oh, the bag is so beautiful, you guys. Wow, it's like a beautiful sage green, very floral, very pretty. I love that. And aptly named, the May 2024 theme is The Secret Garden. This month, the spring beauty staples will bring your look into full bloom. First up, we have the Dallas and James Watermelon Dream Cloud Cream Gel to Water Moisturizer. That sounds great. And I love watermelon and I love anything that is watermelon. <laughs> Next up is the What's Up Beauty Egyptian Queen Lipstick in the shade Seba. They are clean, cruelty-free, and vegan. I do actually have the Dragon Eye palette from them and I love it. It is beautiful quality. Next up, I'm definitely seeing something from ABH. This is the Clear Brow Gel, which I have gone through multiples and I think it works great. Next up is Dazzle Me SOS Hair Powder. Quickly control oil and leave your hair dry and fluffy. Okay, that is pretty cool. That's something else that I really love about Ipsy, you guys. Especially like this version, the OG Glam Bag. I like to try so many different brands, hair, skin, makeup, etc. And then if you really fall in love with something, then you can invest in the full size. And then the very last thing in here is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Old school, definitely classic. I think this is a pretty good month so far. Not my all-time favorite selection, but we have something for our hair, we have a brow product, we have some skincare, and I love the bag. I think that is so incredibly beautiful. Let me go ahead and put this back into my bag and get it out of the way. Next up, I will go into the Boxy Charm by Ipsy. This is a $30 monthly subscription and you get five full-size products. We get to choose three of those products and it's a value of up to $200. And of course, this is just an idea of what you can get in your box or what I can get in my box. Um, and it's basically a spoiler. And it's basically just a spoiler alert for you guys. First thing right on top, I see the Benefit the Professional Good Cleanup Pore Purifying Foaming Cleanser. That sounds amazing. And keep in mind, these are full size products. Ooh, next up, I have something from Eight Saints. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Soulmate Brightening Treatment. Next up is the Polite Society, the greatest, greatest lashes of all time mascara. It says legendary volume, lift, and length. Next up are some beautiful eyeshadow brushes. They're really pretty in gold and then has like a cool little like design and stuff right here. Those are beautiful. They have some good weight and stuff to them as well. I like these. I'm trying to see what these say because as I'm looking at them, they actually look like they do. That is so pretty. I'm going to have to look up this brand and hopefully I can get close enough. Hopefully right there, you guys are seeing like the little birth sign symbol. That is so neat. Okay, these are beautiful. They feel good quality. I like the length of these. And then last but not least in my boxy charm is a massive eyeshadow palette. This is the Ciate London. I am a woman. What's your superpower? You can see it's 
humongous. <laughs> and this says volume two. Oh, very pretty. It's just super neutral, a couple of really beautiful shimmers, and then a couple pops of purple. I have a couple of palettes that are literally pretty much the exact same type of thing, and I am all about just really trying to not be wasteful and stuff like that. Um, anything that I do receive in PR that I know I'm not going to use, I always pay it forward. I do giveaways, use them as gifts, so on and so forth. So in our box of charm, we had our palettes, the beautiful eye brushes, the mascara, so we're building an entire eye look there. We had our brightening treatment, and we also had our foaming cleanser. I love this selection so, so much. Now, last but certainly not least, you guys, is the Icon box. This is a quarterly option from Ipsy. It is $60 quarterly and you get eight full-size products and each Icon box is curated by a famous person, famous makeup artist, celebrity, so on and so forth. And this month's curation is Patrick Starr. So I'm very excited. Right on top, we have our little pamphlet and it will tell us information, why Patrick chose the products that they chose. There's a good piece of foam right here. So all the products, deets, pricing, and everything will be in here. And again, packaged beautifully. First thing I am seeing is the Fenty Skin Rough Rider Exfoliating Body Scrub. I am a huge fan of Fenty Beauty and Fenty Skin. Love that. Next up is another Benefit product. This is the Benefit Speedy Smooth Quick Smoothing Pore Mask, of course, full size. Next up is another brand that I'm very familiar with, First Aid Beauty or Fab Beauty, the Bounce Boosting Serum with Collagen and Peptides, safe for sensitive skin. Seeing a lot of skincare in here, and if you're not a skincare buff or a skincare fan, don't know how you're going to feel about this box. <laughs> Next up is the Vacation SPF 30 Baby Oil Broad Spectrum SPF Sunscreen. I have used the Vacation Spray Sunscreen and I did like it. Next up is the One Size Point Made Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, Eyeliner Pen in Bossy Blue. Next up is the Kosas Grow Potion Fluffy Brow and Lash Boosting Serum. That sounds amazing. I'm also a big fan of Kosas products. Next up is the Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Tinted Balm Stick in the shade Sugar Plum. And I do have their line smoothing lip gloss and I really, really love it. So I think I'm also going to love this. And then the very last thing is the One Size Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio. And I have the shade Attention Seeker, which I think is going to be that really beautiful kind of viral <laughs> shade of pink that everybody loves. I can say right now, this is my first time getting one of these. It feels very weighty. It feels nice. I do like the packaging. I like that this is raised. It does have the shades on the back. And then I do like the ease of use here. So if you have dexterity issues, I think that is awesome. And yes, very much that kind of pretty like bubblegummy pink. We have our cream and then we have the powder blush. And then we also have more of like a highlighter or like a blush topper. I might go ahead and try this out for y'all. I'll try the balm. Um, I typically do not use liquid liner very often, so I'm not gonna open this and waste this. And then everything else really is skincare, so I can't really attest to quality and stuff like that. Um, I feel like I'm okay with the selection. I love skincare and I prefer getting skincare, but I like a good blend. Um, and I feel like if this is how most of the boxes are gonna be, there might be some unhappy beauties out there. Um, I don't know. I cannot attest for everybody else. I'm going to go into the cream blush first. Again, this is my very first time trying this. I do like that it has the little you know, like plastic piece on top. I'm just going straight in. It might make your component look a little messy. <gasps> I might have got too much, y'all. Um, I do already have some blush on, but I think we'll be... <laughs> be able to see it. Um, these are not my favorite shades, like these more like cool, tony type of pinks. Um, but I do want to test out the formula and I can say even as pigmented as that was to kind of start with, 
Wow, that blends out with zero effort. Okay, I like that. I don't smell anything harsh. I don't smell anything at all. Blend it out incredibly easily. I would just say to take a less is more approach, y'all. Do as I say, not as I did. I'm gonna go in with the same exact brush. I would normally go in with something a little bit more fluffy, but I'm just gonna keep the same one. And you can use this on its own. You can use them together. You can put the cream and set it down. You can use this one, it, it, however you want to do it. That also blended out incredibly well and did not disrupt the cream underneath, which is a good thing, especially for summertime or if you have oily skin, of course. And then I'm going to go into a more kind of fluffy, flimsy brush. And I'm going to go down here and I'm going to put it at the very top of this. Oh, pretty. I really, really am impressed, you guys. I've not used these yet. Like the level of pigmentation blending out incredibly well. Ooh, pretty. Okay, I like that. Let me wipe off my a little bit of lip oil that I have on. And this does stain because it's like a lip oil stain, so I do apologize. <laughs> But we're just going to see what the formula and stuff feels like. Again, this is the shade Sugar Plum, and it is their Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Tinted Balm Stick. They could just put lip balm on the package, y'all. I love the packaging. That is really pretty. Oh, I think I'm going to love that color. Okay, it's going to be incredibly sheer. See, my thing with balms, I either want a little bit of color payoff or just... I'll wear lipstick, you know, or I'll wear a stain. <laughs> oh, that smells nice. Kind of fruity. It is kind of flaking off a little bit, so maybe don't put out as much as I did. Um, and you cannot roll it back down, so now I'm screwed and it's that much. <laughs> Whoops. It shows up a little bit better on the lips than I anticipated. Yeah, it's breaking off all over my lips. Hmm. I'm not pushing hard or anything either. All right, pretty. I like the way that it smells. You cannot take it back down. That shit pisses me off. I don't like that. Um, I like the packaging and stuff. We'll see how it wears. But it feels nice. I mean, that's all I can kind of attest to. Sadly, I cannot test anything else out for you guys. Again, this is mostly a spoiler for you guys. I think overall it's an okay month. Definitely not my favorite month so far, but I have high hopes, y'all. Um, the few products that I did get to test, I'm actually pretty darn thrilled with. I did not think I was going to like this at all, and I really do like it. So that is it for today's video. Thank y'all so much for joining. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see. Thank you to my channel members. I love you. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. And of course, be your own best beautiful. <laughs> Bye, beauties.